All right, well, it's kind of like a uh, day two. All right, so yesterday I was putting the Mazda in the garage. We got sidetracked, dinner got brought out, and it got late. Never did anything with the Mazda. It's sitting here in the garage. Today I'm at the house where like, there's this crazy ice storm that came through. I just braved the whole over the hill and through the woods to grandma's house we went, through the snow and with the quattro we will go to get here just because I couldn't find my GoPro at the house. We got the GoPro. I'm gonna go back to the house. We're taking apart transmission things. A lot of cool things happened yesterday and I can't wait. Guys, we haven't... Oh, that door's frozen. We have a freaking S6 in the house. That is so badass. I'm pretty stoked for this. Like, you don't get to... There's not a lot of them left out there and there's a lot of people who've gotten rid of them or trashed them or have given up on them and they're rotting away in their garage. And if any of you guys have those out there, get on Instagram, find the Rowdy Audi, find SPR.Industries, get on RowdyAudi.com, send me an email, we'll work something out, you can ship the car to me and I'll deliver it back to you. I've said it before and I'll keep saying it. I'm here to help you guys as much information, as many how-tos, and as many parts as I possibly can for as long as I can. If I do it really well, maybe I, with Web 3.0 and blockchain, smart contracts, and all this cool technology that's gonna happen because of the metaverse, it'll be here even after I die. <laughs> I'm ranting. Let's get to the house. Let's get some stuff done. The car's running outside, and it looks like poo. Like, this. Oh, the car looks like crap. So much, like, oh, oh, so much warmer. All right, guys, I've been working on this little side project in my garage. I've been tearing apart an 01 e transmission here. This is the first one of these I've ever done. For the most part, it's been, a, it hasn't been challenging so much as I just, it's a lot of steps. You know, it's a lot of things to do. It's a lot of pieces to make sure you've got it taken care of. I've taken a lot of part of a lot of really weird stuff in my time. I've never decided to brave the hole of a manual transmission. And ever since I braved the hole of an automatic transmission, I'm like, hey, yo, we got this. <laughs> like, it can't be that hard, right? Like, this only goes together one way and those you can really screw up. I will do a full teardown video on like one of these on a walkthrough, but the reality is I don't need to. JHM has done one absolutely fantastic killing it since 2016 they got over 43,000 views that's probably at least every b5s4 owner ever to has to have watched a teardown video on this thing this is my revision of it so uh i made a tool to take the back tail housing off that was really interesting i've got some montage footage of that maybe we'll just toss that in right here right now Actually, yeah, let's stop what we're doing, catch up with a quick montage of how we got to here. Let's do that. Now that we're back from a quick montage on what's what, how's we got to where we're at now, um, now I'll fill you in on the bit that I didn't record, but it happened. Um, this piece right here, this gear set stack, whoops, bearings, sets down on here. Right, that all sets down on there. That actually goes down into there. And then this stack sets on here. This piece sets on here. Yeah, so technically this goes over here. This is the actual shift collar and it sits on here and shifts in between the gear sets. I had to mo to get this one off, we had to use the three jaw puller. Well, the Harbor Freight freaking ends on it. These stupid things right here are junk and thin. I had to make new ones. I was gonna try to 3D print them, didn't end up 3D printing them because the 3D printer went on a fritz because the belt slipped and done. I'm ranting, but it's whatever. So, anyway, we got to pull this gear set off. You couldn't get a three jaw puller in there, so you need a two jaw. Puller. So I went to all my hardware stores. I went to AutoZone, I went to O'Reilly's. Napa was closed because supposedly it's a snow holiday and everyone's closed and nobody's cars can go anywhere. Yeah, I ended up going to Harbor Freight, buying this two jaw puller kit right here the three four and six it was like 21 dollars. the one at autozone was like 37 and it wasn't neither of them were going to be big enough what i ended up doing was taking like my six inch sorry how long did i make these guys five inch five inch long arms adapting them to a six inch puller and you can see the difference here and how much yeah we added a lot of length and was able to manipulate these suckers to go down around this thing and now this gear stack is off so now that we have this stack off we have we have the center bearings those are the bearings this is the spring that they talk about that keeps 
the synchronizer so like when the synchronizer sits down on there it that's what keeps it like back up off when you're not engaged and then this guy sits on there and this thing goes around all of this like that and it goes donk em, boom you're in a gear and ugh. oh there we go and it'll do the opposite onto this side of it go clunk and knock it into the other one. There's a quick reference of how this portion works. There's a retaining ring here that I gotta pull off. And then there's a C-clip right here. We gotta remove this C-clip so we can get this bearing out. And then we gotta put a hose clamp on here and we're ready to separate. Let me get some things set up. I'm gonna set you guys back over here on my handy dandy 1910 Clarky Metalwork drill press. So far, there's no reason we can't take this apart. Like, we haven't found a point where we have to stop. I've been having to stop, get the right tool, or get the right bit, and get this thing done, but the reality is, we're at a point now where we don't got to, which is exciting. This is super, this is the, yeah, this is, this, this is where the good parts happen. <laughs> Let's get it done. All right, this thing, glorified P to get off, but we got it off. And now that bearing should slide right up out of there. There we go. Okay. So we stack that, that, that goes on top of that, that. Okay. All right. We should be ready to take it apart now. Let's get these bolts out. We got to get these guys out right here. The, I forget what they call these things, but they're basically the bit that returns everything back guys right here like the ball bearings like when you push it over to go into reverse and you let go and it automatically jumps back to center that's what these do and we got to take those out and then we should be able to just pop 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 all these t45 torques out all the way around here and we're ready to do it to it so uh i gotta grab the tool bag out of the car and got, yeah we're gonna separate this thing this is pretty exciting let's get some of this stuff cleaned up too drive coffee you guys never tried drive coffee absolutely should try it amazing stuff it's another one of those really cool things if you got a boyfriend that drinks coffee or a girlfriend that drinks coffee and she's a car person at the same time, you can buy her some. It's a great gift. They also make cold coffee, which I haven't tried yet. All right. All right. I think the game plan here is we're going to take this thing and put it down here. I don't think I'm going to have the lifting leverage I need. So we're going to take it out, set it on the ground, and yeah. Figure a place, good place for you guys. Like, right? I think right there looks good. Right. You guys can kind of see what's going on here. All right, three, two, one, Hercules mode engage. Oh my gosh, you heavy. Oh, don't fall. Okay, and we got to get a hose clay for that thing. So going back to the JHM video, the guys over there said that you need to put a hose clay up on this shaft because down here there's like 27 little bitty needle bearings, I guess. And you take this thing out, they go everywhere. He says we've had plenty of calls about it. People do it. They screw it up all the time, I guess. So we ain't going to screw it up. We're taking his advice from the beginning. I'm going to put that there and then we got to get these guys out and those out. All right, take one. We got all the bolts out. We got everything out. Let's see if it'll come out now. As simple as they say. Mm, no, okay, what are we forgetting? Uh, we got those off, we got that off. That's off, that's off, that's off. This should come off. It's just a little tight, that's all. This is another go. Oh. Ah, okay. Now the goal is we got to get these selector shafts out. We have to get the front diff shaft out, which is this bit that we wrap the hose clamp around because we didn't want to lose all these bearings that fall out. There's 23 of them in here. They can go everywhere, so. And then we have to take out the reverse gear down here, and then we'll take this bit out. We got a little bit to do here, but we're almost done. Almost done. Well, almost to a point where we can't go any farther tonight. So, let's see if we can do this. 
put this. I think we're gonna go with you guys over here right now. What do you think? Does that angle look pretty good? All right, so first things first is we need to take this hose clamp off. Oh, there's those bearings. You can see them right there, falling out from the inside. They go literally right in here. All right, so there's our bearings. And then there's another bearing in here. All right, that one doesn't look like it's gonna fall apart. And then there's another, yeah, okay. So that goes, there's a little foil bearing in here. That foil bearing is gonna sit on top of this guy. So that's gonna go down in there. And that sits on there. Now we gotta get this C-clip off that's right here, which should be fairly easy. We gotta get this C-clip off right here now. I'm using some uh, needle nose pliers because I don't have any C-clip pliers here, but we should be able to get this off. Oh, 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 Mo, it's magic if we get this. Living in a happy world, oh yeah. Come on, we got this, we got this. Almost, ah, poop. All right. Mm, booger, shoot. Well, you guys end up missing it, but I got a screwdriver in there right between the ledge and just was able to walk it straight up got lucky and it popped loose didn't bring the right set of like c-clip pliers with me that was, yeah those things c-clip pliers with me so something you're gonna need set us c-clip pliers they make a full set of harbor freight c-clip pliers which work really well but they're all at the shop so you know when you're taking all these apart you guys want to take note of the orientation that everything is in how it looks i would highly recommend taking as many pictures as you possibly can because it's a fantastic freaking reference so down the road just like taking a video of it while i'm doing it here yes i'm showing this all to you guys in the world but at the same time i'm visually documenting how this stuff goes together i should have gotten it tonight when i was out at the farm but before i take that like go crazy far into this crazy or far into it um we're gonna end up etching every one of these gears and where they go only because we still got to send this stuff out to precision finishing to get finished uh like all the metal treatment done to it and i'm gonna get it back in a whole bunch of bits remembering where everything goes and then like I i've got a crazy idea of how to get it done and we're gonna basically label everything in a grid format and then take pictures of it and note where it comes from and then play pieces in the box and stack everything back up. It's gonna be fun. Trust me, it's gonna work. We're gonna have a cool train. This is gonna be, it's gonna be fun. I, I, I'm really stoked for this one. So, uh, let's get into this some more. Now we gotta get this bit out right here. Okay. So once you get these out, you guys want to definitely inspect your gears and the edges of your teeth. Make sure that there's no crazy pitting and that all the edges are relatively in good condition. So this is down here is your uh, first gear. And if you have, uh, so this one, you could sharpen these up a little bit here if you wanted. And uh, you could do the same thing here as well. These ones are actually a little rolled. This is your second gear. So it's like first, second, third, fourth. And then I think it's, yeah, fifth, fifth and fifth and sixth go on the outside out here. So, and then that one down in there is reverse. That right there is actually reverse gear. So, and then this is the one two shift collar in here. So, this is the one that likes to freaking jam up. All right, here we go, reverse gear. So reverse gear is this gear right here. That's reverse. Oh. It even sounds distinctively like reverse. Uh, in order to get this guy out, we gotta pull this clip here out. We gotta do a couple things. First this clip, right here. All right, there's one side of it. And then, same thing over there. All right. Retaining clip. We need this right here needs to come off. This 
So behind there, we've got a countersink bolt and some, like some very interesting little bits. All right, so that comes out. This, there we go. Now that is supposedly supposed to like spring around into something. Um, it sits down in there like that. I'm assuming there's a notch on the back side of here that it's got to catch in. Yeah, I figured this out. So what happens is this will be in here, right? This will sit there. Well, yeah, this is going to be a, a freaking thing and a half to get back together. Oh, yeah. But this little notch right here, that little notch right there sits like that. If the center of the hole is where the shaft went, the edge of the spring is actually locking over here against the edge of the case. I'm trying to be as detailed as I can here. I want to make sure anybody who needs to know to go into this thing or ever needs like general reference, this video is like a great quick walkthrough reference video for anybody. Um, I've said it before, this is the first O1E that I've ever taken apart, but I've taken apart other transmissions and I looked at this, I'm like, come on, I can do this. This ain't that hard. Now this is one of those personal life challenge things that I've never taken on. Well, it's better freaking no time than now, right? Let's get it done. Life's getting too short and one day I might not be able to do this. I ain't that old though. So, uh, which by the way, brings up another thing. Age and being old, old is not a problem. You know, with age comes wisdom, comes a lot of benefits to it. Cheaper insurance being one of them. <laughs> not caring what other people think is another one. Eventually you'll get there where you're like, you know what? Everyone can just have it, whatever. All right, we got the reverse gear out. Let's get this out. We'll put it over here. This, by the way, is a synchronizer for the reverse gear. Oh, that goes on there. Uh, these are very, very expensive, so you usually you don't have to do anything with these. Um, you're going to want to make sure that they do engage okay and that you don't have like, really sharp edges. These ones are slightly rolled, and you can kind of see them right there, how they're rolled over. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but we're definitely going to take a file, sharpen them up probably before we have them sent out and get treated. All right, now this section right here, I was watching the videos and they said that it's not a lot of press on this side. There's no bearings or anything in here. And they're pressing, they're actually just pressing straight down on this shaft right here. So he said he heard people talk about just being able to tap it out. I've got a rubber mallet and we're gonna give it a go. So let's move you guys over this way. Oh yeah, it's moving. All right, so the whole time I'm just keeping a little tension on the back side here, just so the bearing doesn't like have room to wobble around in there. There we go, that worked. All right. All right, there we go. It's done. It's completely apart. I've got all the oil and crap on the screen. This is the one-two shift collar. This is the one-two shift collar that loves the booger up right here. And this is the three-four. Right. Easy. That's how it should be. This one. I, I, yeah, I, you can't really get it to engage. So that should easily move around. And it's not happening. We're gonna have to get this thing all, we're gonna, I'm gonna definitely have to get this thing torn apart some more. But I don't got a press here at the house and it's like 11 o'clock at night. So, uh, we've made enough, we've made enough noise. We've made huge success. I didn't honestly think I would get it this far apart, but I did. We're at it. Um, I still gotta etch everything and like mark it to where it's all at because once again, we're sending this all off. We're gonna, it's gonna be like a two to three week turnaround time. We're gonna go up there to precision finishing. We're gonna go get a tour and see exactly what they're gonna be doing. And we're gonna be able to pick up our final products at the time. So it's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. I am super excited for this trip. It's, 
I love learning new technology. I love learning about how things are made. And every time I can take something apart, it's like, oh, it's so cool. This is how that works. It just blows my mind. I hope you guys found value in this. If you did, go down there, hit the like button. It's free to like a video. You know, it doesn't cost you anything. It lets me know that, you know, hey, what? I did find a little bit of value in it. So if the AI figured out a way to get you here, consider subscribing. We do stuff like this all the time. My job here is to serve you and find ways to help you guys save thousands of dollars working on your own ship boxes. Whether it's tearing apart a transmission that's 20 years old, working on a car that's 20 years old, working on a car that's five years old. All we do on this channel is play with Volkswagen, Audi, Porsches, and Lamborghini, everything in the VAG family. If you like that sort of stuff, consider subscribing and I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. I'm Audi and peace. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Oh, hands are too dirty to catch. Yep, hands are way too dirty to touch the camera lens. Bye! <laughs>